Hello again, my name is Hugh and welcome to my channel and if you can see it, my chair. On the 14th of March I posted a video of me making a, a dovetail pen blank um, when I was at my mate Kevin's workshop for a weekend and then a month later I turned that blank and made this pen and the video of me making that has become my most successful video ever with so far over two and a half thousand views so every one of you that's watched it and commented thank you very very much um, but after that first video of making the blank um, a comment was left by the channel name is Dances with Aardvarks his name's Mike um, and a few comments back and forth and then that resulted in um, a chat through messenger email and by phone and basically Mike said I think I can make a jig that will make that easy to make and it'll fit on a router table so as you know I've recently been given a router table by Steve from Fenrika Woodstuff so Mike went to work making this jig and when we met up at Maker Central he gave it to me but not just the jig a whole load of things um, that which is a box full of bits for the, for the jig loads and loads of blanks um, for me to, to try out on so let me show you the jig because it is a superb piece of engineering that's just a um, piece of plywood for transportation and there is the jig basically the router bit will go through there and I'll cut onto here and all of this bit here are micro adjusters so using that and that because the principle is basically the same as a box cutting jig so you cut the first one slide it over cut it sort of and you all probably know what a box cutting jig looks like so today's video is not going to be using this because Mike very kindly sent me two videos each an hour long of how to set this up on my router table um, and then how to actually use it but in this huge box Mike sent those or gave me those as you can see the jig works so you've got 6mm, 9mm and 12mm dovetails now I bought the necessary router bits for that so I can use it so it's going to take me a while to get my head around getting this on my router table and everything else but I wanted to show you this jig and the, the blanks that it can make and what I'll be doing is I'll be turning one each of these the, the 6, uh, the 9 and the 12 mil and I'll show you the turning of them um, and then the three finished pens at the end now none of these joints are glued they are solid so what I'm going to do is just run thin super glue or CA all along the joints there is a little bit of tear out on some of them I'm not at all worried about that because that will turn away they'll have to be drilled on the drill press so I can't actually show you that because it's oblong and also I need to get the drill bit down the middle of there so Mike thank you thank you thank you 
Um, I've got four of those slides, fronts and backs. Sorry, one, two, three, six, <laughs> five with the pins in them. And I've also got spare to make new ones. Um, this is going to be brilliant. So I hope you stick around. Um, as I say, once I've got my head around getting this on the router table, um, I will show me using it and making uh, a pen blank from it. Um, so yeah, it's time to get changed, get in the workshop, um, cut these to length and drill them. So when you see these next, they'll be on the mandrel ready to turn. So, I'll see you in a second um, on the lathe. Cheers. There you go. Well, here they are. Um, I'll be using the Caltoy uh, kits. As you can see, I've drilled down the middle. So it's pretty much central, as far as I could see. Um, I'll show you that one in a sec. Thinner dovetails again, tube down the middle. Happy with that. And then the last one, which is the wider one, the widest, again down the middle. But when I was barrel trimming, I got a little bit of chip out there. So I am going to turn it so you can see what it looks like. But it'll then be coming off the barrel and I'll redo another blank. Um, so yeah, let me get things set up and. Uh, I'll be turning at two and a half, 2006, something like that, um, to try and get these pens done. So let me get set up, I'll bring you back. I'll be turning at 2700. doing there the tails don't quite meet perfectly but as Mike said these are the prototype blanks he did so I'm just filling those with a bit of super glue or CA just to try and fill the gaps it doesn't matter if it's mixture because it's two different woods so let me do that and I'll bring you back when it's time to do a bit of sanding Those of you who followed me for a while know that when I'm using different woods, dark and light, I always just give a quick CA or super glue all the way around just to seal it so we don't get bleed in between the two woods or the sand dust from the two woods. So let that go off naturally and um, ease the pressure off the bushes it doesn't stick and I'll bring you back when it's time to do a bit of sanding well 
And again, as ever, down the length just to get rid of any radial marks. So that's what that's going to look like for a while. I'll bring you back when it's time to do with the next bit. As ever, my favourite bit, let's see what this is going to look like. Denatured alcohol mess, as we call it here in the UK. That's looking nice. See, drilling went well, dovetails are right down the middle of the pen. So I'll let that dry off and we'll get some finish on this. Okay, to finish the pen, I'm going to use something I, I haven't used for a while. This was sent to me quite a while ago, and it's Axe Abrasive Paste. Uh, Tom and Annette reached out to me and said, look, Hugh, do you want to try it? No strings attached. We're not looking for anything in return. I said, I'd love to, because I've seen a lot of my views and, or videos I've watched in the States use this. So, let's see what it does to a pen. lovely shine and that's just the abrasive paste so now I'm going to use the polish and restore paste clean bit of paper towel Silky smooth, lovely shine. But as this is a pen, um, they do get used a lot. I'm finally just going to put some Hampshire Sheen Pen Turners Overcoat on it, which is a hard micro crystalline wax. What happened there is I pressed too hard and I burnt the wax, so I'm going to start sanding again, um, refinish it in exactly the same way, um, and then I'll put the next blank on. So I'll finish all three now and then we'll put them all together. Okay. There we have it. First blank from the set sent to me by Mike using the jig, which over the next course of the week or next week or two, I will be getting to work on my router table. And then I will show me using that jig. So I'm all set up for the next one. So it's going to be identical to this and I don't want this video to get too long so I'll turn both of these off camera and then bring you back when it's time to assemble I'll see you in a second hello well there was a change of plan this this morning as regards to the rest of this video around 10 o'clock I was um, well Jane and myself were emptying the dishwasher I lent in to get a saucepan out and yeah I had this ping right across my back again so I'm hoping to see 
the acupuncturist on Wednesday and then depending upon what he says I don't know if there's going to be a video next week or not if there is um, it's going to be the turning of the other two because I've thought of a way of um, fixing that broken blank um, that one so yeah disappointed's not the word um, it just seems to be the simplest things that set it off I'm not even lifting anything just leaning into a dishwasher for goodness sake so let's get this pen together I'll show you at the end I'll put some uh, stills up as well so the kit is the cow toy and it's antique silver and antique copper it's got a beautiful band across there so let's get this uh, sorted yeah that way move this back a bit again this is a really simple kit to put together um, actually I think I prefer that end it's basically two parts are pressed in and that's it which seems to be a thing with Taylor Murfield pens um, they are extremely easy to put together oh, that's a lovely lovely fit there now the clip I think I'll put the clip down there so you've got it would sort of disappear Oh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, there. Um, it's the refill. Again, I always put the tightly coiled spring at the nib end transmission work it in a few times and finally the cap so there we have it dovetail pen um, prototype blank made by Mike from Dances with Aardvarks. As I said, I'll put links to Mike's channel up there and down in the description. Um, I love it. And those gaps there filled in really, really nicely. So, once again, I'm happy. That is a, a lovely, lovely pen. So if you've liked it, you can give it a thumbs up. If you haven't, you can give it a thumbs down. Either way, leave a comment. Um, I read them all, I reply to them all. If it's your first time here and you've liked what you've seen, you can click on my icon at the bottom if you're not subscribed, subscribe through there, click all on the notification bell and YouTube lets you know when I upload a video, which is, I'm hoping it's going to be next Thursday, um, but I don't want to get back to the situation of where I was quite a while ago. Uh, of having to take several months off so I will be listening to one my back and two my acupuncturist so yeah, I'll put some stills up of this um, hope you enjoyed it like it share it all those good things as everybody says it's just for me to say now thank you very much all the new subscribers that have come on all the oldies uh, the diehards and hopefully as I said I will see you next week so please take care stay safe and well <laughs>